What are you reading now? Well, the book I am reading is Pandora's Star by Peter F. Hamilton. And I'll read you a couple of pages from it. It's quite dark, it's science fiction, and uh, basically uh, the gist of what I'm about to read is um, he has described two characters who have been kidnapped by uh, an alien species called the Motiles. And uh, basically he is describing how the Motiles see the two humans from their eyes. They've never seen a human, they don't know anything about it. So it's quite interesting. It ordered the Motiles to remove the suits. Under its direction they applied cutting instruments to the surface and began ripping the fabric apart. As the alien motiles were exposed, so morning light mountain heard strange sounds emerging from them. When the upper bubbles were broken open, the sound grew to extraordinary levels, making the motiles wave their sensor stalks away in an attempt to lessen it. The single fat sensor stalk on top of the alien motiles was the source, an orifice which flapped open and shut. They also emitted a stench so strong that the motiles quivered in reaction. Morning Light Mountain hurriedly reviewed the cell's gas toxin sensors to see if it was a chemical attack. There were some strange nitrates effervescing off the alien motiles, but nothing lethal. It began to catalogue their profile, even knowing they were alien didn't adequately prepare it for this thing so strange. Their skin was a pale white pink, with slim blue lines visible just below the surface. Thin fibres were sprouting from it seemingly at random and in different colours from brown to white. There were big patches of the stuff on top of the centre stalk and small patches between the legs. One had tufts where its arms joined the torso as well as a fine greyish fuzz on the front of its torso, while the other had neither. <coughs> Physically they had differences. Odd limbed appendages that dangled like half-filled bags the larger one had a tiny trunk between his legs, next to some kind of external sacs. Morning Light Mountain could see no practical use for either set. Lines of red fluid were leaking from the skin, corresponding to where the cutting implements had been applied. The smaller alien motile had something using its legs to support itself, and was hanging limply in the soldier's grip, while the larger one was shaking violently. It continued to make the curious sounds as yellow water discharged from its mini trunk appendage between its legs. Motiles collected samples of the red fluid and yellow water from the floor of the cell. The alien motile which had gone inert was placed in the large scanning unit. The image which arrived inside Boyne Light Mountain was tremendously complex. The alien motile was densely packed with organs. Lungs, heart and stomach were obvious. It couldn't imagine what half of the others were for. The bone structure was odd, leaving some parts of the torso unprotected, although the joint system was innovative. Most interesting was the location of the brain, actually inside the centre stall. Morning Light Mountain moved the scan focus, trying to track the nerve cords to a receptor membrane. Try as it might, it couldn't find one. The bulk of the nerves left the brain to travel along the thick, segmented bone running down the torso but they all branched into a tributary network and was distributed through the muscle bands and thin skin. Could the entire skin be a nerve receptacle, he thought. Then Morning Light, noted, Morning Light Mountain noticed strands of organic conductors wound through the skin. Many of them were integrated into the nerve cords, especially around five segmented grippers on the end of its arms. Now it knew what to look for. Morning Light Mountain gave the brain a more detailed survey. A cluster of minute electrical components were nestled inside the body at the base of the brain, with a multitude of connected threads joining them to the big nerve cord. The inert alien motile was taken out of the scanner and the active one placed inside. Soldiers had to hold it down as the bulbous scan tips moved across it. Where there was no bone beneath the skin, its flesh bowed inward below the probing tips. It started making noises again, a loud burst of high frequency sound every time the tip pressure increased. Morning Light Mountain withdrew a tip and pushed it forward again. The alien noise generated again. It was an interesting correlation, but Morning Light Mountain couldn't understand why it did that. 
and the scene goes on about uh, the torture and while they're investigating. It's a very good uh, book series and uh, so Pandora Star is about 1,200 pages thick and there is a conclusion which is another book called Judas Unchained which is uh, the continuation of the story. Very good, well worth reading. So the question is, what are you reading now? And read a couple of pages to see if everyone thinks they might want to read that too.